Hello everybody. My name is Dr. Jim Forkham. I have the distinct privilege of being your professor and guide for the MSCE 550 Research Methods and Analysis class that you'll be taking this term. It's my pleasure to be able to work with you in this class as it is going to be a very important class leading to the final project of your master's degree which is the writing of your portfolio. Uh, I want to give you a little bit of my background and then we'll talk a little bit about the course, the expectations, uh, some do's and don'ts, I'll give you some tips that will help you and that hopefully will get you off to a great start. First of all, my background, I've been a college basketball coach for 33 years, a college athletic director for 15 years, I've been a, a dean of kinesiology and instruction for seven years. Uh, I'm still conducting research myself right now on generational differences. So this is uh, something that I feel confident that I can help you to navigate this process of learning about research, how it's done, and how we can use data and analysis of that data to solve the complex problems that you may face in your profession as a coach or an athletic director or in some other sport related field. I would uh, want you to know that this is something that you can do. I know if you're like most students, you may be a little bit anxious, a little bit nervous about studying research. For most of us, uh, we don't have a background in this prior uh, to taking our, fir our first research methods course. Uh, I would suggest to you that this is not the kind of course that you can rely on your past experience uh, rely on things that you already know to kind of coast by. And I do recognize that you probably can do that in some of our MCAA courses, but this is one where you really do have to uh, have the book. The text for the course is this. Make sure that you get it. I really don't think that you can be successful in the class without having the text. And the second piece of this is the syllabus for the course, and this is the syllabus. I want to encourage you to print off a copy of the syllabus, read it thoroughly, word for word, line by line. Keep it right by your computer, right by your desk. Anytime you're working on this class, have it handy so that you can refer to it. Uh, knowing what is expected, knowing the bullet points of each assignment, knowing the due dates, uh, knowing all the different things that you have to include in your work is going to be crucial. I would also suggest that uh, in this class, uh, getting behind is not a real good option. Uh, we put this program together using a scaffolding approach, which means that every assignment is built upon what was achieved in the assignment before. So if you get behind, especially early in the class, it could be uh, a challenge for you to stay up and to catch up. So. My advice to you, uh, as best I can give it uh, from experience, is to uh, try to carve out time each week to get your work done, stay on task. Uh, do know that I realize that life does get in the way from time to time, and uh, should that happen, the best avenue for you is to communicate with me, let me know what's going on, and we can hopefully always come up with a strategy and a timeline that will allow you to be successful. Uh, I don't mind admitting that uh, when I worked on my master's degree, been quite a long time ago, but when I worked on my master's, I was a little bit nervous and anxious about taking this on myself, uh, but I got through it. And then again, I went through that same anxiousness and nervousness when I began work on my doctorate. And so something I want to uh, offer to you that I hope will maybe uh, give you a little bit of comfort and maybe... Uh, uh, limit your anxiety is that uh, if I can do it, you can do it. Now again, the key to it is to uh, you know pay attention, get the book, read the syllabus, know the syllabus, uh, pay attention to the due dates, read the individual bullets of each assignment so you know exactly what it is that you're expected to include. And then I think another key is to ask questions and ask for help. I think there's only one dumb question and that is the one that's not asked. Uh, I really don't uh, have a problem with uh, 
students asking questions. In fact, I encourage you to do so. I do want you to know you can reach me anytime, day or night, evenings, weekends. Send me a text, give me a call, send me an email. I'll get back to you as soon as I quickly can. I think at the end of the day, the bottom line for me as your instructor is that I'm not successful in this effort unless you are. So do know that I'll do everything I can to uh, navigate you through this process so that uh, you can go into your portfolio process whenever that comes up for you and feel confident that you can write your chapter three and that you can do it with uh, great preparation and feel comfortable in what it is that you need to do. Uh, conducting research is, it's like anything else, it's a learned skill. The more you work on it, the more you uh, read, the more you prepare, and the more time and effort and energy you put into it, uh, certainly the better the process is going to go for you. So again, my tips for success in the class are to uh, read the syllabus line for line. And in fact, I can tell you that uh, if you will do that, there will be a payoff for you this very first week of the class. Get the textbook, do the readings ahead of time, prepare, carve out your schedule, make sure that you plan time uh, whenever it is best for you, whether mornings, evenings, uh, weekends, or whenever, that you're going to diligently uh, refer to your book and your syllabus and you're going to get those assignments done and get them in. I'm not going to take the time to go through the syllabus uh, line for line. That's a task that's uh, meant for you. Uh, but I would ask you to do that very, very quickly. And if you have any co uh, complaints, any concerns, any questions, uh, please get a hold of me and let me know. Uh, I think the key for both of us is to open a good line of communication and know that uh, you know we will respond. I will respond certainly back to you in a very timely manner. And if you will do the same back to me, we should be in great shape. Again, getting the text is going to be crucial. If you haven't ordered it already by now, you need to do it immediately. So please get that done. And uh, again, be aware of all the due dates, all the timelines, and uh, get your assignments in on time. Some of our assignments are time sensitive, meaning there's a due date. When it's due, it's due. And that assignment will drop off of Blackboard and you won't be able to access it again. So on those assignments, again, make sure that you pay attention to the due dates and that you get that work submitted so that you don't lose those points. Uh, this class has been very well laid out by many others who have come before me in teaching the course. It's very clear. Uh, it's to the uh, very precise in what the expectations are. And if you'll pay attention to those, I don't believe you'll have any trouble in navigating this course through to success at the end. There will be an exam that will open up midway through the course that you will need to uh, complete. You can work on it at your convenience. Uh, it will close at the end of the class in week 11. Uh, all of those due dates are clearly spelled out on the course calendar, which you'll find in the uh, syllabus. Also, you will find a CV and a professional uh, bio on me, brief professional bio. If you'd like to get more information and know a little bit more about my background and the journey that I've taken to get to this point of being your instructor for this class, you certainly can find it there. Uh, I want to wish you the best of luck. Let's all get off to a great start. Uh, the class will be active here uh, very, very soon if it's not already. Uh, again, you should have access to the syllabus and all the other materials that you're going to need. And if for some reason, if you are having any issues with Blackboard or getting on the site or accessing any of these materials that I've talked about, uh, please give me a call immediately. We'll get IT involved and we'll figure out what the problem is and we'll get you squared away. Other than that, uh, I don't want to take a whole lot more of your time than I have already. Get on the website as soon as the class opens, and I'll send you an email to that effect that it is open. Get on there and look at all the tabs, look at all the information that's available. Get back to me with any questions that you have so that you start off that first week with a great understanding of what you need to do. Uh, you're going to make it, believe me. I look forward to working with you along the way. And again, one last uh, 
encouragement is that you can do this and don't wait until you're way behind to ask questions or to ask for help. Thank you. Take care. Blessings to you. And I want to congratulate you, too, by the way, on your effort to start this master's program, to get this research class done and out of the way, which will eventually lead to success in the writing of your portfolio and finally the earning of your master's degree. Great job. Take care. Stay well. Goodbye.